trying to see who pistol thumping bullets light up the dark. Every time my body drop, it look like pieces of art. And with this chopper, paint the block up, nigga, call me Bob Ross. Hey, I'm who they want to be, or maybe the old me. New with me, just ride the beat, boy, Jay ain't got the best of me. Heard of yeah, soon. We back with some Akala, bro. Akala, the Thieves Banquet lyric video. Just, just the picture alone, bro. This is saying a whole lot just in the picture. If you're new, though, make sure you motherfucker hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that motherfucker subscribe button. I react to a lot of Akala. I actually got to make a playlist of the, all the Akala that I listen to. Listen to a lot, a lot of actors, and I guess these were like world leaders down here because I don't know all of them, right? So these got to be some type of world leaders, right? I'm just examining this whole little cover art. Hanks, police, children sad, money, United States of America, a nuclear bomb. going on right here right, I see the, I see it seven minutes I'm, I'm cool with that you know, I mean, it's Akala man I'm cool with that let's go ahead and get right man once upon a time in an obscure part of the Milky Way galaxy there was a spinning ball of water and rock ruled by the forces of evil the devil himself proud of the magnificent achievements of his children, decided to call a special banquet for the greatest thieves in all the land. He sent invites to thousands of the greatest murderers, rapists, and general assorted scum, inviting them to attend his palace at the dawn of the new moon. Each thief would be given a chance to stake his claim. Is this some type of book or something book movie explain because i'm pretty sure this ain't just a title for the song this got to be some type of book or something bro like, i would guess this would be a book or something as the greatest messenger of murder upon the planet and the devil himself would then decide who should be crowned king after many days of deliberating all of the petty thieves, such as street criminals, have been found far short of the required level of wickedness, and there were just four sets of thieves left in the competition. They were the monarchs of empire, a cartel of bankers, the heads of religious orders, and the third world dictators. Each set of thieves appointed a spokesman to give his case to the devil. We have recorded these events for posterity. Mm. Okay. I can see. I can. I can. I can see where he's going with this. I can see where he's going with this. I can already see where he's going with this. All right. Especially saying like the you know the 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 regular street criminals who do they shit, do they little killings and all. That ain't nothing compared to what these bigger names of stuff you know like what they be doing behind the scenes like oh no man oh uh, listen uh okay yo First up was the thief with the worst reputation Dictator of the third world nation He looked the devil in the eyes he spoke In an oh so serious tone Dear Mr. Devil, I am the greatest thief that ever has been on earth Please tell me who else more than me Personifies your work I came to power in a military coup I murdered the elected president He wanted to use the resources of our country For our people's benefit I proved the masters in the west I could kill my own people as well as the best So I I figured this how it was gonna go. I like how he trying to do this though. Not for the cat, bro. I like how he trying to do this though. Right, so he's gonna do. That means he's gonna do the other three people too, right? 
and say the shit that they've done type shit. But as if it was them and explain to, you know, the devil and the shit that he be This is this is smart as fuck. This is smart as fuck. I took over the so-called independent country when the foreigners left. Sent squads of death for those who would suggest and power should be the ones they elect. Erected a statue of the great man. The great our mothers stole our lands. That's how little self-respect I have. Don't fight slavery, it makes me glad. Account in Switzerland, Rolls Royce, murder or rape because I want new toys. Don't want a portion, a whole fortune. With that profit, was a little bit of torture. Even outlawed my indigenous culture and language and history. And taught our people to only worship colonizers. And of course, me. That's some weird, wicked ass shit right there, bro. That's some weird, wicked ass shit. They literally have the power, right? To do this shit to their own people. The leaders, bro. They could do a lot more danger than these street criminals, right? Even though, you know, the street criminals and do what they do. The third world dictators have a lot more no shit they can do, bro. They fuck around and fuck up a whole country. Motherfuckers wouldn't even care. Right? It's a lot of, and there be a lot of bullshit going on behind the scene, bro. So impressed with this wonderful man, you most ejaculated on his hands, but the monarch of the empire said, Excuse me. Hmm? That's a tough one. Me, Mr. Devil, I'd like to speak if I may. Who do you think trained this amateur dictator to behave this way? Yeah, I'm sure before I came along, his country was far from heaven. But look at the carnage I've caused all over the earth. It's got to be the work of the devil. Countless deaths, mass enslavement, deliberate starvation of whole nations. The dictator tries his best, but looking at me, he's just an imitation. Who do you think pays his wages? He would love to be trading places. I've been doing this thing on the roads way back, way back, way back since the middle of ages. Everybody knows he's a criminal element. They think I'm democratic and benevolent, and that shows that I'm really devilish because people think I'm heaven sent. I couldn't care about democracy. Mm. No, no, no. We get into the real, real, real politician type motherfuckers. Right? The motherfuckers that's supposed to get voted in for the people. I'm pretty sure, bro. And that shows I'm really deadly because people think I'm heaven sent. I care about democracy. See, you all know no one elected me. The people love me. Yep, you all know no one elected me. That'd be the crazy thing, bruh. And the fact that they pushing this vote, 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 vote. This is the most they, they've ever pushed it. My thing is, my nigga, I don't get it. I don't get it why y'all pushing it so heavy to go out there, go vote, go, go, go vote. Swear to God, I've never seen this much advertisement for voting, my nigga. Commercials, nigga, online, everything, nigga. It's a, it's a, it's a motherfucking YouTube channel that I watch. It's called, like, the, the Dead Meat series. They talk about, like, the kill counts and scary moves. And, uh, nigga, they even had an ad to go vote. Telling niggas to go vote, right? I ain't saying there's no issue to go and vote, this and that, even though that shit really does not matter because they gonna pick whoever they wanna pick anyway. But my thing is, y'all want people to go out here, right? Y'all telling us this coronavirus shit getting worse, right? I think I, I spoke on this before, the coronavirus shit getting worse, but yet y'all pushing this, go vote, go vote, go vote, go vote, get outside, go vote, get outside, go vote. Y'all pushing this so motherfucking much, my nigga. I don't understand. Y'all pushing this so much. Right? I know it's an important election that y'all still gonna pick whoever y'all wanna pick anyway. Right? Y'all still gonna pick whoever the fuck y'all wanna pick anyway. Right? Motherfuckers is not stupid. But yet y'all pushing this go vote. Get outside. Y'all allowing motherfuckers to go back to... to, to to, to football games and all this type of shit, right? But the, but the shit is getting worse, right? Look, just pay attention to shit like this, bro. It, it don't make sense to me. How how is shit getting worse? And back to where it was when it first began. But y'all want motherfuckers to get outside so much now. 
Especially now that it's getting more cold outside. My nigga, I don't understand that. That shit is stupid to me. Despite my crimes, suck at MCs when I bite my shine. So bling and out of control, you would vomit. Don't even touch dope, but my face is on it. Niggas said, don't even touch dope, but my face is on it. Yo, who is he talking about right here? I know he's talking about some type of politician, but I don't know who. I'm a pervert using the cloak of the clergy. Yes, I'm a pervert using the cloak. I'm a despicable character. I use my position of authority and spiritual reverence. I'm a despicable character. Mr. Devil, allow me to speak. All the religious leaders that leech in the world of creeps. I'm initiated. Take people's faith and I dissipate it with false promises. Hollow oratory. Don't need a gun. It's daylight robbery. Dear Mr. Devil, I thought you would like it. I use the faith in God to keep them blinded. Mm. So now he's talking about the, the big religious motherfuckers. Take people's faith. False promises. Oh, don't need a gun, it's daylight robbery. This right here. Don't need a gun, it's daylight robbery. They be doing this shit in y'all face. For the people who not woke to this shit. I know people who listen to him are woke, so that I don't have an issue with knowing that. But for the people who not woke, my nigga, it is people doing it right in y'all motherfucker face. Right on your TV. We having thousands of people come out there and look at these people. And I'm pretty sure he's talking about people like the Pope and all them type of people who be having all of these people come out there and see them just walk on their porch, balcony, just to say a couple words. And these motherfuckers doing all type of little slick shit behind the scene. Just, just really robbing y'all and making y'all look real stupid. Real stupid. Like... Need a gun, it's daylight robbery. Dear Mr. Devil, I thought you would like it. I use the faith in God to keep them blinded. On a nice voice, read them a book, and they believe that I'm not a crook. Tell them God will pay them in the neck. They give me their life savings so I can buy jets. All the reports about child sex. None of us have ever gone to jail yet. The system is this is crazy, bro. And they believe I'm not a crook. I tell them, Go, we were paid in the next. They give me their life savings so I can buy jets. Other reports about child sex, none of us have ever gone to jail yet. It's stupid. Steelix, so appealing, convinces the victims that life has meaning. Monarchs boast about conquest, but needed my blessings to get it done. And all of the dictators use my books, therefore, they are just my son. The devil was sure this was the winner, and was just about to put an end to the dinner. But then the man from the banking cartel stepped up and said, I think I'm the biggest sinner. All of those three depend on me. All they ever do is defending me, because I paid for all of the things they have, of course, and the life that they need. Paid for the guns, bombs, and the tanks. That's why you see there is always more. I turn science, basic appliance, into a client of weapon of War, paid for monarchies, armor oh, movies, I make monopolies out of property. Never shot a gun, nor kill anyone myself, but billions die because of me. Only mm. I never shot a gun or killed anyone myself, but billions die because of me. Hmm. Mm. That's tough, bro. Needs a threat. I make a debt out of thin air. Just sit back and collect every single day. Whatever they say, the people need me just to connect. Yet none of them knows what I look like. Yet all of them spend my money to look nice. They want more. No one's pure. I hold the keys to every single door. Sell sex and drugs, profit and lies. Earth and skies are even so life. Are even so freedom for the right price. They're not smart enough to ask me nice. So, Mr. Devil, give me the medal. Don't be biased. If you don't give it to me, I'll just buy it. <laughs> This shit. This is shit people would not listen to for real. And this is why he's not mainstream. But y'all don't have an issue with it. You ain't. They not gonna have him mainstream. The shit he be saying be too real, bro. And they'll make it seem like he's spreading lies when he's speaking nothing but the truth.
But that's why he wouldn't be mainstream, bro. Well, that's why he's not mainstream. We all know this. You know, I know y'all big time Aguilar fans know why he's not mainstream. But I'm a fan of him too, even though I'm relatively new to him. You know, he got me already hooked on his music. He be just talking about some real shit, you know. I react to drill and, you know, other music. But like I say, man, I'm a young old head type of nigga. Right? Or let me rephrase that. I'm a old young head type of dude, man. Right? I listen to a little bit of everything. Right? My girl told me I'm like some type of spiritual type of person. I'm not really... I guess so. I just be woke to shit, right? I don't let bullshit fly over my head, right? I pay attention to a lot of shit. I really sit back and pay attention to a lot, a lot of shit. You can't just, that shit ain't gonna just fly over my head. I gotta look at that shit and be like, mm, I, gotta, I gotta go check that shit. I gotta go look up and research shit. Like, for real, though. The back of the it's the back of the Yeah.